Okay, we're looking at job number 20886. It's called Ballinger Commons. And this is the third video. Um, I got some more information from the customer at Keck. And he said that on this back area here, you'll see in the other two videos, there's this area that we're going to put some concrete in. Well, they want this whole area in the back to be concrete. So this whole section, there's a rock wall, and then there's a little landscape spot with a shrub there, and there's a shrub there. They want to take all of that out and make this all concrete. Okay, so this is what that looks like if you were to be right down there in that area. You've got this shrub here, this shrub here. In my other videos, I did not include this small section here to uh, put in concrete. Um, Here's a view from the other angle. So this little spot right here, we need to take all this out. All of this is going to be concrete in here now, this whole area. Okay, let me show you another picture. Here's looking into it against the building. All of this is concrete. So this sidewalk is going to come out. So that way we can get proper flow from the building. For instance, from the building here and going this direction. This picture right here we want this to be the high end and we want the travel of water to flow this direction now there's a downspout that's right here this downspout goes into the dirt right there i don't know if there's a pipe in there or not because the downspout doesn't go into a pipe it just drains right on the dirt if i could find another picture i'll show you um well here for instance is the pipe that runs straight through here i think for this downspout and then you got a downspout right here that we need to connect to this pipe that's underground okay um, yeah you can't really see in this corner but in this dirt there's a downspout and it just drops the water right there we need to try to connect a pipe that goes about 12 to 15 feet over and then connects to this uh, pipe that's underground um, Where's another good picture to show here? I have some dimensions. So, in my previous video, I didn't include the 8x7 in this video. And um, this 10x9 and this, um, I believe it was a, uh, what was that? I can't even read. Oh, it's a 5x3. We are going to include all of that now. So, uh, in the previous video, I, I included a 10 by 5 piece up here so that way we could get the proper slope down. So that way, all the water flow will come from the building and head out this direction as much as possible. And I think by doing this, we need to take out this, take out the 10 by 9, the 5 by 3, the 8 by 7, the 21 by 4, and then the, there was like a little 4 by 4 pad in front of that yellow door. And then like a little 4x5 pad we need to remove, plus some concrete mix there. And then put in the 4x12 for this whole area, the 21x4 new concrete, 8x7 new concrete, 5x3 new concrete, 10x9 new concrete, 10x, that says 4 but it was 10x5 concrete here, and then the other 10x5 right here where my finger is. The 21 by 6, we need to add all of that in and create this whole area as new concrete, 4 inch depth. Your obstacles are the downspout right here. Over here you've got two um, little pipes with, uh, that looks like conduit, and then there's a, some uh, conduit for electrical right here as well. So we definitely need to do a, um, uh, a locate here. Probably both private and the other one. Um, this is the low spot that's right here, but we want to make this higher up in this area by these doors and create the flow this direction. Okay, so hopefully that helps out with the dimensions down in this area. In the other two videos, you've got um, this area right here I got an answer on. Instead of this being 67 feet by 1, they want to go 67 feet by... Um, uh, three they want to keep this the same width all the way down so it's gonna be 67 by
by three going all the way down until you get to this spot right here by the pool and then we're going to taper it in pretty hard like 45 degree by the light pole okay um so that's that dimension there and then as you go uh up the hill you've got the seven by ten on that corner then you got the seven by ten on this corner and then going up the hill you have the 80 foot by one foot that goes all the way up along the sidewalk and to this location right here then you have this dimension which uh, in the other video I mentioned it I can't remember what it was maybe a 7 by 9 okay um, there's the removal of that curb right there which was about 5 feet 5 or 6 feet and I think that was it okay so those are all your dimensions and I think I said earlier in the first video that we could park the truck up here in the parking lot and it's about 65 feet from there down to that pad area okay down to this area all right all these photos that I have here will be saved in Google Drive with those dimensions on it any other questions let me know thank you